What's up guys, Hunter here. I'm going to create a short video for you today here on heroes and building a trap. This is the heroes I have on my wall right now, which I'm going to go ahead and change up now. Let's see here, i got two range heroes, one infantry, two cav heroes, two army attack heroes, and let's see here, we need to, I'm going to go ahead and take one range off today and put up another infantry. Infantry is my front line so we're gonna go strong infantry uh, hopefully hopefully take more of a hit. Uh, if I was to build a trap this is probably what I would go with and tell you why it gives me more infantry and helps out with the cav and I'm heavy on range so range isn't super important. Now getting these to gold, guys, you got to log on once or twice a day and go through and use this stamina every chance you get so it's not just sitting there, uh, you know, back film. I think, I think, let, I'll go to my other account here in a minute. I think you could get all these heroes to gold in probably maybe six months without even paying a dime. And uh, if you wanted to invest some money, it would be a little bit faster by some brave hearts uh let's see here what was i gonna show oh guys i got a couple questions on on what uh what formation you should go in as far as attacking and defense and stuff like that and i want to go over this it doesn't matter when you build a trap really what what uh, phalanx you should go in i mean you can use cav i like to go with infantry because infantry uh gets there the calves catch up and the range is hitting it all kind of seems like it hits at the same time if you do use cav the cav is going to get there way ahead of your infantry so it's going to take a while let's see here if, if you do that i'll show you what i mean here if we do cav and this guy's got infantry defense. Now watch the cav jump way out in front. And they're going to be attacking before anything ever gets there. And look how if you have the infantry in the front, calves are going to hit about the same time infantry hits there. Now it doesn't, it, I mean cav formation could be good for you also. People were asking if they could run cav phalanx. It, it would be fine. Especially if somebody attacks you in infantry phalanx, you're going to destroy them. Uh, but like I said, I run infantry so everything hits at the same time. If they do cav phalanx against my infantry phalanx, I usually end up winning because I'm strong with the archers. Well, I don't usually. I, I win every time on the, that. But uh, because I have so many archers, I can take out their calves very quickly. So if you go to cav phalanx it's it's going to be fine guys you just got to make sure your comp your troop comps right in order for it to work other thing i wanted to talk about is let's see here that we had some questions but we're going to go over how many troops you can have in order for a trap to work now we're going to go way back here and i still have all gold heroes Let's see here. Right here I have 10 million troops. I know back here I'm going to have some losses. I thought I thought I'd have if you have around 5 6 million troops, you can still trap people, guys. It's going to work. I don't think I have any reports under 10 million troops. I would shoot for 10 million troops, guys. It it seems to it seems to be the trick. But yeah, I don't have any reports under 10, and 10's, 10's a good uh, good uh, place to shoot for uh, a goal to start trapping. But you can trap, like I said, around 5 million troops. You're just not going to trap most people's leaders is all. They're going to have a march back and their leader is going to get away, which isn't a big deal. You're still killing a ton of their troops. And if you have a T2 front line, uh, you probably won't lose any troops. Okay, let's pull up this other account. So I think this account's going on about four months, maybe right around there. I should have wrote it down so I could have kept track for you guys. But let's go to the heroes. Now this is logging on every day. 
and I'm doing heroes with construction and research as you can see and gold protection because we're gonna need gold here in a little bit so I've got four heroes to gold and the best way to do this is like I said log on every day and also you need you need this this guy right here this guy is huge it is gonna boost your uh, heroes up very quickly uh, Aquarius so this here I'm gonna try to max this out because 60 to 120 stamina is huge every 12 hours because you will get your heroes to gold a lot quicker with this uh, Aquarius guy I can't even I mean you're gonna catch other other higher might players so much faster with this this is a must-have, this Aquarius, if you want to upgrade your heroes. I mean, if you're first starting out, this is the only thing you should be going for is Aquarius. And right now, I, I can't remember, mine produces, let's see here, 45 to 80 stamina, which is sweet. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. And I think close to getting... getting this guy maxed out as far as research uh familiar level 55 so in 42 of 80 metals there but yeah guys get aquarius it'll help you get your uh all your heroes up to gold let's talk about troop comp here so let's go into here I want to show you another thing about infantry here as far as why I like the infantry phalanx and I built this account this way. So infantry is my front line and the counter to infantry is calves. So if somebody counters calves against me they'll go cav phalanx or whatever if they send all calves. But having 7.3 million T1 archers can handle a 375k march. No problem. I've, anybody hits me with a, a cab phalanx and all T4 cabs, I will win it every time because I have those archers. So the suggestion I have for you guys if you want to go cab phalanx, the counter for uh, calves is archers. So what you need to do is you want to make sure your grunts or if you're building gladiators, uh, but I would build I would build T2 calves if that's going to be your front line, and then everything T1. So grunts, you're going to want to shoot for six or seven million, so you can blow through their T4 archers right away when they get there. I think you'll suffer more losses because your calves are going to be getting hit right away. But it will still work as if you use T2 calves, rep reptilian riders. So now if you want to do archers as your front line, and again I recommend doing sharpshooters as your front line, T2 sharpshooters as your front line, build in a million T2 sharpshooters. And then the rest needs to be if you, T1, excuse me, if you want to be an effective trap, because your might will get too high if you do all T2. So if you do sharpshooters, the counter for sharpshooters is infantry. So if somebody sends a full infantry march, you need to be able to take that out right away. And if I could build another trap, I would pick sharpshooters as my front line. And then I would build 7 million T1 grunts. The reason being, if, if they send a full T4 archer march at you, that 7 million grunts or 7 million plus grunts will take out those T4 archers with no problem. So whatever you pick as your front line, I would pick your next heavy troop type to be the counter for the counter of your front line, if that makes sense. So sharpshooters, the counter is infantry. So make sure you have enough calves to take out those infantry right away. I hope that makes sense for you guys. I based that my trap account off of that with the infantry and went heavy archers. And it seems to be working because if anybody says sends T4 calves to me, I, I eat it no problem. It, it is very quick. So I hope this helps you guys out as far as wall heroes go. 
Uh, if if I was going to do Wall Heroes, this is this is exactly what I want. If you're going to build an account like mine, I would go exactly like this and get these Wall Heroes up. And no other are Wall Heroes to gold, especially if you're pay to play. Do not spend or uh, upgrade each hero because it's going to add more might. Um, so that's what the Wall Heroes I would go. And guys, if 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 you're fresh building a trap, I would go T2 Sharpshooters as your front line. And I would build a million of them, and then I would build probably 7 million T1 grunts, and then another 3 million T1 calves. If I was going to do something different, that's what I would, I would switch it up. And then you would also have to switch your wall heroes up a little bit, because you want a little help with your front line. But I, I think with that formation there, I don't even think uh, the infantry with... Let's see here. No, I said seven. If you're going to do archers, you got to counter your counter. So you need seven million T1 calves to take out the infantry before the infantry gets to your front line. And I think that would destroy people because uh, seven million T1 calves will take out their infantry so fast. I, I really do. I just want to run a replay on, or show you guys a drill on that. So let's say... This isn't going to be accurate because the troop numbers aren't right, but watch how this hits. So let's see, we're going to be, he'll be infantry. Now, obviously, the enemy is going to win this battle because they're countering this. But watch the calves hit. The calves are going to come up right into the arch, past the archers. Okay, now if you have enough calves to get up there and take out their infantry fast enough you will win that battle so if you had seven million calves it would be no problem so I hope this uh, video helps out and also let's see here right, we don't want to change that but uh, like I said the uh, cab formation is gonna work a lot of people want to do that just make sure you have enough infantry to take out their archers so they're not just destroying your calves so it will work it's not a problem, just make sure your troop comps right, and it will be fine. So I hope this helps you guys out. I'm also going to post another video today of uh, part of the KVK again. And we got a lot, of, lot to show on that. And until next time, we will talk to you later. Bye.